I want you to obey my commands and give me a good, clean fight. Touch him up, scoop back. Ooh, I want to use my feet to create some offense for myself. Both guys trying to work on the inside. Both men trying to find success to the body. Right hand comes in from Ortiz. Beautiful combination. Came in behind the jab. Followed up with right hand and another jab in the right hand. And now turns southpaw and he hits the gas pedal with Herring up against the ropes. Oh, right hand comes in from Ortiz. And Roy Jones Jr., who considers a hero. Marlon, you know he's very dedicated to his family and to his education. He's at Worcester State University. He said, hey, who knows? Down the road, med school could be. And Ortiz is seeing him walk straight through the front door without shooting the jab, and he's catching him as he's coming in. Now both guys are choosing to stay close and fight inside the pocket. Ortiz is not looking to be forced back. You see right here, this is the youth right here coming through for Ortiz. He's a tad bit quicker. Good left hand. And Robles, after that last round, told Jamel Herring, you have to stay busy. You must stay busy. Then he digs in on the clap and does this to the bell. He's thrown 50 more punches than Herring. Round number eight. And leaves himself wide open right down the middle. And you don't see Herring taking advantage of that. Instead, he's retreating. Then I need to reevaluate myself. And that was a statement that caught us off guard a little bit. Like, wow, that's how much he thinks himself and how little he perhaps thinks of Herring. But he views himself as a distinct favorite, younger, fresher guy, who at this stage of his career, he said, I should be better than him. I am better than him. Look, Jamel done everything right this time. But I'm just telling you, you know, you get to a certain point where instead of you training harder, you got to train smarter. He did that this camp. He reserved a lot of his energy. He came in in a different weight class. He got a new team. Coming back, fighting with a lot of heart. Herring, looking for answers. There's a left hand that comes in from Ortiz as he pushes back. Jamel Herring creates some space, gets around the guard. We can catch him and capitalize on a mistake. Catch him with something flush and hurt him. It's a good night's round for Ortiz. One round to go. Finished strongly here. He's coming off by far his best round of the fight. Look at what he did in the ninth round. He was 44 of 115 punches thrown. He outlanded Herring. Herring trying to respond. His mind is telling him to respond, but his body is not listening. Final minute. The young man from Worcester, Massachusetts, who came out here to Vegas determined, ready for this chance. Using this jab and occasionally straight left hand down the middle was finding his mark. But then something changed midway. Ortiz started finding his rhythm, started mounting his attack, started taking the initiative, throwing his combinations, getting in and out of range, frustrating, confusing the veteran, Jamel Herring. And he started landing with more regularity throughout the course of this fight. Jamel Herring tend to fade it. He faded drastically on the back end of this fight. For your winner by unanimous decision, and now the NABF and USBA lightweight champion, Jermaine the Technician Ortiz! That is a quality win for Jermaine Ortiz, just like he said he would.